Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. In our last video, we saw how to parse a text in a JSON format. Today, we will see how to get the weather conditions from a site called Wonderground. We will send a HTTP request to the site and it will answer by a text in a JSON format. First, you need to create an account and activate it. You should get the two emails for that. Next, go to the weather API section where you need to create a key. I have already one. And this is my key. In the documentation part, we will see how uh, a request to the site looks like. This is uh, the file showing the current uh, conditions in San Francisco. Now I will change uh, the URL to see uh, the weather in other cities. I'm changing CA by the name of the country, France, and uh, San Francisco by the name of the city, Paris. Now I can start making my program. First, uh, I will create an object uh, to parse. It will contain uh, the answer of uh, the HTTP request to the site uh, Wonderground. Uh, the end of the URL should uh, be the name of the country followed by the name of the city dot json. I made a mistake uh, here so uh, beware. Now I will test uh, if the parsing was made uh, correctly.
Now I will extract the full location of the city and show it on the serial monitor. It is the nested value into a current observation and the display location and the full. By the same way, I will show the weather and the temperature. Both are nested value into current observation. Now I can upload the program and see the result. And these are the informations that I need. In our next video, we will make a kind of exercise to get the forecast. But you can already do that. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.